up guys, Flack Knight Editor here and for Beast, and this is my first um, tutorial that someone asked me to do. Um, it was requested by a couple people, and they did not know how to make custom objects in Cinema 4D. It's actually really simple, and it doesn't take too long. So here I have Cinema 4D R13 open, and that's actually we're going to start at um, Photoshop. And so whatever your image may be, I picked Dead Mouse. Uh, we're going to drag it onto your Photoshop. And um, what we're going to do, you see I've already done it, but I'll explain what I've done here, is you're going to go ahead and have your picture zoom in 300%. And we're going to take our pen tool right down there. Not not the magnetic lasso, you have to use the pen tool. Because if your object has multiple things, like if I were to um, want to have the dead mouse writing as well, and I wanted to write around it, with the magnetic lasso, it only chooses one thing. So you have many things that aren't connected, you really want to use the pen tool. Now you're going to trace around your picture very slowly. I went fast, so, I mean, time-wise, because I'm not actually using this, but you guys, to make it look real nice, you're going to take it real slow. And um, even if, if you mess up a little bit, that's okay. Um, there's something in Cinema 4D we're going to use later, and that will really that will help smooth out the edges a little bit. So when you're done, um, you're going to trace around your edges. You know, not not do not just draw out. We're gonna click. You're gonna click around the edges. Okay. So once you're done with that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and hit File, Export, and Paths to Illustrator. Okay. You hit Work Path and hit OK. Now save it as ever you choose. I'm gonna whatever. You know, I'll save it Example, and you don't not you do not need um Illustrator to do this, but save it as Adobe Illustrator AI and um. You don't need Illustrator. It's gonna. It works just fine. So don't be freaking out. Save it. And now we're gonna go straight to Cinema 4D. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna go down here, start an, open a new project, hit open. All right. Now you're going to find your example or whatever you named yours. Ever, I may have saved my here we are example AI should come up as just an AI file the blank thing usually that means bad but for here open it and hit scale one connects splines and group splines you want it in centimeters makes it easier metric system all right so now we have our picture and it is not extruded whatsoever mine looks completely retarded because like I said look mine was not the full picture it's just half the ear of dead mouse so yeah, it looks pretty strange, but it's how I wanted it to look. All right, so now it's really easy to make it become a 3D, 3D object. We're going to hit the uh, little sphere box circle thing right here. Click, hold it down, and you're going to drag, hit extrude nerves. All right, now we're going to hit our example, drag it over so the arrow is pointing down over the extrude nerves, and drop it. Now it's a nice little 3D shape we got going on, and now, you know, it's Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit your little spline, that's what it's called, and we're going to go find your basic, make sure all this, you want the base here, adaptive, and your angle to be 5. Alright, now we're hit extrude nerves, go down to caps, make sure they are both fillet caps, so it starts to smooth out the edges, and make sure your steps um, are at, both at 100. Now this is what will smooth out your edges and it makes it look a lot better. All right. So now, as you can see, we got that nice. Um, oh, come on, you! All right, there we go. So now, you, as you can see, it's a lot smoothed out and not so fucking you know weird looking. But you know, it looks a lot better. Yeah, that looks nice. If it were to make sense. Sorry, not a good picture example whatsoever. Alright, so now, I mean, look, you got your shape. Make it any color you want by creating a new material. You know, you know that you should know if you know anything about Cinema 4 you how to do this. Um, put some reflection in there, all that fun stuff. I mean, that's basically it. You're good to go after this. Um, I mean, there's not much more you can do. You know, when you render it out. I mean, you got your pictures, 3D. Um, one more thing you might want to do is uh, change your movement to um, 
um, change your movement up a little bit. If you want it thicker, it gives you more of a 3D shape. Sorry, my um, Cine 4D is not loading very fast. I, have, I actually have a lot of RAM, but uh, I got Sony programs open right now along with my recorder, so things can get me a little bit slower. But you see it's thicker now, and you got your 3D object that you customized yourself. So it's great for all kinds of things, for intros that, I mean, well, I mean you don't have any options here, and you're leaning your free hand, and all these are very difficult to make just freehand yourself, so it's really good to use through um, Photoshop. So guys, that's basically it, all you have to do, and uh, my first tutorial, I am 